Hi, what's up? Welcome to Rich Life Insider. Today we're going to talk about Bitcoin and crypto predictions for 2022 and what's going on on the market. You know, Bitcoin has started moving right now. The market is up 1.45%. So Bitcoin is up, it's up 0.81%. And if you look at uh, the top 10, 20 coins, Cardano is up 5.9%. But I, in my opinion, Cardano has a tendency to go up really fast then after that it dropped so in 2022 you know it, it's gonna be interesting to see if it's gonna stay be flat or going down or going up so i personally i like italia and bitcoin not so much of cardano or oh, look at terra luna is up 15.74 percent that's pretty a lot and avalanche is at 3.74 percent i like the luna i like avalanche and the polygon is up 12.04 percent so so these are the coins that i really like so personally i, I, I like it you know terra avalanche um, and polygon so all these three and let's look at top predictions for cryptocurrency uh, Bitcoin, uh, some experts believe that Bitcoin is due for a sharp decline in the coming months. Why do they say so? So, high then uh, regulatory scrutiny and index price fluctuation. I'm going to tell you my comment on it and what I think about it. Uh, Carol Alexander, a professor from finance at uh, Success University, said she expects Bitcoin to tank as low as 10,000 in 2022, virtually wiping out all of its gains in the past year. Why did he? Why did she say so? It's because she thinks the Bitcoin is just a toy, not an investment. No, there is no fundamental value. You know, a lot of people has been talking about that Bitcoin, uh, since the beginning, you know, 13 years ago. But most of them, what they don't understand is, it's just like gold. Gold does not have so much of the use but people stay buy gold because they want it they want to wear gold you know uh, it's just a prestige then and not just because there are so many cryptocurrencies she also talked about there are so many cryptocurrencies italian uh, and uh, solana you know they have more uses than bitcoin yes it may be true but bitcoin is number one just because uh, there are diamonds rubies sapphires uh, jade there are so many, so many, so many ornaments and jewelries that you can buy. Platinum. It doesn't mean that people are gonna stop buying gold. You know, it doesn't mean that people are gonna stop buying Bitcoin just because they are Italian, uh, Solana, you know, Avalanche. So, uh, uh Bitcoin has a first mover advantage. The main purpose of Bitcoin is so that you know you can exchange between peer to peer without having to involve, uh, the banks, central bank. You know, it's a decentralized the concept. That's how Bitcoin got started. Bitcoin got started. So a lot of people are gonna think, you know, um, uh, or the billionaires, millionaires, uh, institution. Hey, there are only twenty one million bitcoins. If they buy Bitcoin, they know that the supply is not gonna increase. But if they hold U.S. dollar, they know that U.S. government is gonna keep printing money. There is no limit to how much they're gonna print. There is no limit in the law that you cannot print more than uh, 3 trillion, 5 trillion of money supply. There is nothing. But in Bitcoin, 31 million is a supply for that. Uh, a lot of experts say hey, Bitcoin near 50,000. This is uh, uh, the next Bitcoin price level to watch. So they say 50,500. But personally, I think 53,000 just to be safe. I believe once they hit 52,000, the FOMO is going to kick in. Everybody's going to fear they miss out. So they're going to buy, buy, start buying, and that's going to push up the price to 60,000, know, 69,000, whatever, all time high. But just remember, uh, cryptocurrency are very volatile. You know, Bitcoin used to hit 30,000, then drop to 3,000. So 10 times less the value. So if you invest, this is not a financial advice. You know, um, don't give financial or investment advice. Just be prepared that your portfolio can drop 80 to 90%. So it's very, very normal. So invest them with the money that you can only, only afford to lose. And uh, Salvador buys 21 Bitcoin on 21st day of the 21st year of the 21st century. So basically, this is my 21st, you know, uh, 21st and 2021, they, they bought it. And the country is also 21,000 kilometers, square meter as well. 
So this is you see a lot of, a lot of people are buying you know they buy two one two one two one. So countries like El Salvador started buying. They already have a one thousand one hundred twenty bitcoin in the treasury, and you know, it's gonna be now one thousand one hundred forty one bitcoin. It, it, they are planning to buy more five hundred million dollar more of bitcoin. Of course, they 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 issue the bond one billion bond to buy it. So countries like this are buying. So a lot of countries gonna follow follow for that and also so if you see a lot of countries are doing that they are basically now us uh, is pretty much sure that they're not gonna buy they're not gonna ban cryptocurrency so that's more certainty for investor to invest in i don't need to worry about my money getting wiped out for that uh, so that's that's a good news a lot of the countries a lot of the institution billionaires millionaires are started buying bitcoin and other cryptocurrency so an uh, and employee um, embezzled 154 million for Sony that converted into Bitcoin. Now the Feds are trying to convert it. Why do I say talk about this article? Because one of the reasons why the governments, the US governments, is concerned about cryptocurrency is they in case of criminal activity, they cannot get it back. So that's if they surely cannot get it back, they're gonna burn, ban Bitcoin and cryptocurrency. But now they are able to get, get it back. So they, they're not gonna ban cryptocurrency. You know if they are able to do that so in may a walk uh, a worker at the, at the sony insurance company in uh, tokyo basically diverted 154 million to a fascinating account and at the southern california bank where the company was instead trying to transfer the funds between financial accounts and the worker is identified as ray ishi that converted money to bitcoin you know sony company should uh be grateful I mean, I'm just being sarcastic uh, that this this employee converted to Bitcoin. Now it's now it's, it's about 180 million, 154 million to 180 million, just 30 million by doing nothing, <laughs> doing nothing in a year. They profited. You know, they they got they got it back. They found a private key, uh, to the Bitcoin address that had 3,879 Bitcoin tokens. Now it's about you know, that's that. So what I'm trying to say is. Hey, they're not gonna ban Bitcoin, you know. In my opinion, you know, the chance of banning Bitcoin is very, very less now. Now they are able to cover it, and and U.S. government is gonna be focusing more on on criminal activity next year, and also the stable coin, you know, stable coin because they are uh, has a reserve. They have, they need to have a reserve for U.S. dollar. So in 2022, my prediction is gonna be U.S. government is gonna focus on stable coins because people use stable coin to buy other cryptocurrency so it's usually one to one exchange one to one exchange uh they convert they they use us dollar to buy to usdt or usdc then after that they buy other cryptocurrency then if they sell other cryptocurrency they convert it back to usdt or usdc then they convert it back to us dollar so all these stable coins should have the results to give enough us dollar for that so mortgage crisis happened because of that, you know, there's no enough collateral. There are a, a lot of people will get buy houses easily, uh, so that's how it happens. So they don't want it to happen to the cryptocurrency as well. So that's what they're gonna do. And crypto funds boom, explode in boom year, might marked by the first US Bitcoin ETF. So you, you look at it, the number of crypto tracking investment vehicles double to eighty from just thirty five at the end of two thousand twenty two, two thousand twenty. So. The assets sold to 63 billion compared to 24 billion. So that's a lot. If you look at it, it's double. If you look at the chart, it's really, really double. So 24 to 62. So a lot of people who used to invest in real estate, uh, land, uh, stocks, you know, or, or gold, pressure metals, uh, silver, and bond, they are starting to buy cryptocurrency. So like I said before, it, more people interested in cryptocurrency means there's a bigger pool yes of course there are a lot of cryptocurrency more than 10,000 cryptocurrency you know we, we don't have to worry about what other do is as long as the interest keep rising a lot of people if if they are really interested in Ethereum, oh uh, uh, they, they started investing in cryptocurrency because Ethereum. great it's also good for bitcoin do you think a person who buys Ethereum not gonna buy bitcoin of course not if if a person who likes jewelry buy uh, rubies sapphire jade 
they're gonna keep buying gold and blend them everything they, that's that's what they usually do of course not everybody's gonna buy everything but billionaires institution they like to diversify they don't want to put all their money into just one cryptocurrency so that's the reason why i think bitcoin and, and uh, other cryptocurrencies gonna have a bigger share going up rather than going down if i have to bet i have to bet on the going up over the long term uh nobody knows what's gonna happen next next month or even next year you know, uh, anything could happen with the interest rate going up and, you know, uh, if a lot of people have borrowed money to buy cryptocurrency, that could cause the crash. But over the long term, I, I believe uh, cryptocurrency are going up. And Bitcoin has its own 1% who control outside share of the web. It's, it's the same everywhere. The rich owns more than the poor because they keep investing in investment. So it's really important you, you know how to invest. You start early. And uh, you know, 10,000 Bitcoin investors own 5 million Bitcoin, which is about 230 billion. So, this figures mean that even though Bitcoin launched in 2009, uh, participation in Bitcoin is very, very skewed to a top player. Of course, you know, all the rich people always know first, always invest first. That's why they're rich. So, if you want to know about investment, if you just start it up, you can get a free uh, cryptocurrency Bitcoin by opening an account. The link is going to be in the description and down below. And you can get a free store as well. Open the account um, in the link and down the description down below. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.